Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 65 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are Filkia Sigurdarling, the insane cancerous, etc, etc. Um, just real quick, we're going to hire a court physician. And it's going to be this guy. Why not? And we're also going to seek some treatment for our illness, as it were. Um, quick note. I have installed a new mod because I'm sick of fret and I was considering, you know, how to deal with it. We haven't gotten rid of fret, as you can see, it's still up here in the top, but our monthly decay rate has increased substantially from 0.2 to 1. So every month we'll lose 1% of fret. I don't think it's overpowered. I think it's actually going to make things a little bit more fun. Um, a little bit more exciting, as it were. Um, and that does remind me, I was going to actually hire a new retinue of these guys down here, join them up, get out of the army. All right. Oh, and fix that. Right, let's get to it. So, let's see. That's fine. Oh, another little thing I just wanted to do quickly is build some more castle towns in the other provinces and increase construction. Gravy. Right, good. Oh, and this Scandinavian army should be raiders because we're joining them up to the rest of the retinue. Wunderbar. Right, come on, boys. Yeah, some shit I don't care about. Now. I should imprison the Isle of Lothian. Oh. Could we kidnap some people? Right. Of course, we kidnapped the Queen of Ireland. She's the main one here. Um, okay, whatever. This one, you can be tutored properly. There she is. She has a fever and is otherwise just, you know, fairly shit. She's only worth 14 gold to us, so I ain't caring. Uh, looks like we kidnapped a newborn. She will probably die in jail. Sorry, I wanted that one. 74 gold, but he can't afford it. Well, tough shit, mate. Okay, it turns out my son got someone pregnant. Do you want to beat him up or... Get him up. So now he's ambitious. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's fine. Hatuna built the castle walls. We're going to build this personal study. Now, slight spoiler, this is not my first attempt at recording this episode. But there's a slight issue with some of the um, personal study stuff mainly because we're insane, but when it comes up, we'll deal with it. Uh, this guy has declared war on this guy for what? Chernigov? Really? Who the fuck is Chernigov? No, seriously, where the fuck is Chernigov? There. Are you joking me? One of them has a claim on Fuck them, they can do that themselves. It's a claim war, so it won't impact on the religion. Fuck. Idiots. Uh, one thing to note as well, uh, let's see, a crusade can be called in 976. So we just need to be a bit careful of that and be ready for our dudes to, um, you know, fuck shit up. Alright, let's move on over here. We're going to have to take on the, um, the Yarl. 
Good. <coughs> so we've got almost 3,000 troops in this retinue. That's nice. Okay, we just built that personal study. That's grand. So you'll see up here, use your study. So do we want to write something or study tech? I am going to just have a quick look at our tech maps. Particularly out of our main place. I'm just trying to see how much spread we've got between our main place and the ones around it because, oh, that's nice. Because that does matter. Okay. So if we go tech, we'll be able to see. Um, basically, we improve the spread by, of these by 50%, which I believe means the spread to other places. I think. Um, it also gives us the option to make some wings, which had a. <coughs> Fucking terrible 50-50 death chance. Spoiler, it went the wrong way. Uh, so we're going to write something. So, would we like to write a history of the great accomplishments of my house? A poem for my wife or one of my concubines, I guess. Speaking of which, we've only got one, two new bar concubines. We need to deal with that. All my views on the Germanic faith. Go Germanic faith. All right. You. First of all, you're no longer a Erdman. And you're no longer a concubine. Sorry, not sorry. Search realm, load filters, slot zero. Genius. And filter by age. There we go. This one right here. Um, she won't come without a gift. So give her a gift. And then invite her to the court. Isn't that right, fellas? Won't come without a gift. <laughs> Wink. All right. So these guys have managed to not really filter themselves out very nicely. That's fine. That's fine. That's. Fine. I think it's one of these. One of these guys. Like so. And then that should balance. Let's see. One. So two shock. One skirmish, two shock, one skirmish, two shock, one skirmish, yep. They've each got a cavalry unit. One, one, one. Perfect. Alright, head on up to Lothian. That's his main place. Where we're going to arrest him. Oh, excellent. She joined the court. She is Catholic, which means we're going to demand religious conversion. There we go. Then we're going to appoint her as a shield maiden. Cost Actually, we're not going to appoint her as a shield maiden just yet. But we are going to take her as a concubine. She's worth 50, 50 prestige for that. And make her an Erdman because that's what we do. All right. Yarl of Lothian. All right. He's locked away in a dungeon. Can we revoke one of his titles? He's a trader, so nobody will, you know, reject this. We can also revoke... I think we can revoke the... Um, this guy from his... Let's see... Retract Vassalage. Yep, he's a trader. Nobody will reject. That's fine. Done. Yep, so this guy's now directly beholden to me, or should be when we get the message back. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Now, I don't think we can do anything else to him. Yeah, we can't. That's fine. We're not going to... 145 gold isn't bad. And he doesn't, like, hate haters. But one reason we've got him in jail is because of his strong claim he's got on Strangefjorda. I don't want him pressing that. All right, let's head on back to raid. We'll just keep him in jail. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and keep the money rolling in. Hang on, got a rebellion. Is it the same place? Could be. Gal kind. Let's see, Mercia, do you have more than one war? You do not have more than one war. Do we have a truce for this lady? I don't think we do. Stop. Okay, so the question is, do we want Derby or Bedford? Derby would give us another province in Lancaster, which is a four-province thing. Yep, so we couldn't take the Duchy of Lancaster. Whereas Bedford would give us two provinces out of Essex. Which would let us form Essex. More correctly, would let us steal Essex from this dude. Well, I don't think it would let me steal it from him. Hang on. Yeah, because he'd still hold land in it, so we wouldn't be able to steal it off him, but we would be able to, you know, basically use that as a preamble for the next time. Take it and then have the Duchy of Essex. Excuse me. Same reason why we don't have a... Um... Oh, no, we do have a Duchess of Wish. Wish. All right. Uh, gavel kind, you said it was. 4% in favour of the revolt. But if we take Derby, then we can... Hmm... <coughs> Excuse me. If we take Derby, then we can do a Holy War for Mercia later on and join everything up and isolate Wales. Hmm. We've got a hospital there. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, you're no longer raiders. Get on the boat. <coughs> I think Bedford would be the smarter decision. We'll go for Bedford. <laughs> Excuse me. There's also a Wessexian claim on Kent, which is down there. Yeah, sure, do whatever you want, buddies. It's all good. All right, march these guys over. There's a lot of people in there. Oh, we can pick an ambition. Uh, we're not going to pick that ambition just yet because we're about to annul it. Oh, you know, Derby would actually be easier. Let's go for Derby. Oh, hang on. Do we have a war on the Teutons? Defending against Nalnupa and defending against the King of Bulgaria. Nalnupa, my friend. My friend, Brandenburg, too. Uh, yes, let me assist you in this. Um, I'll need to raise up some personal troops for this. This is definitely worthwhile. I think... Oh, it's the Teutons, isn't it? I kind of hope 5,000 is going to be enough, but we'll see. big rebel army. Great. Um, how much does this guy have? 1,100. Pretty sure he also has the actual Teutonic Order. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Fuck around in your own shit. Alright, boys, you're together. You're going to need better commanders than that. Have Dan, and that should be good. <coughs> Head on down. See if we can 
take some of these places nice and quick before they become a problem. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, Huis, did you declare war on someone? Yes, she did. She's trying to take Kent. Can I join this war as well? Oh my god, I can. Do it. Yes, excellent. Wow, that's a lot of dudes there. And my concubine's pregnant. Good stuff. Hang on. That's what I wanted to check. 43. That's not quite at the non nubile stage of things, but it's getting there. Okay, well, let's hope that we can deal with a Teutonic Order with these 5,000 troops. Because I might want them in a moment. Yeah, there's a thousand Teutons there. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Who can we imprison? The Jarl of Livonia. Why? You're trying to fabricate a claim on Finland. And your damn plot. <laughs> Idiot. Alright, so this is going to increase our threat. But, I mean, now that we've installed that mod, it's decreasing enough that I don't mind too much. Yeah, we're just putting our boats into the river type. I never realized how controversial Germanic faith can be. I must finish this book to clear my mind. Okay, you've finished writing your thoughts of the Germanic faith. and realized your view is quite different from the common tradition, which honestly surprises me because I am the fucking common tradition. I cannot deny the truth from my heart, which gives us mystic, which is plus one stewardship, plus two learning, and plus ten with other mystics. Others would hate me for my thoughts, or there's only one person who can help me decide, my grandson. Um, Mystic is pretty good. So we'll take Mystic. And there's no negatives to Mystic. Like, at all. And we're going to use my study again. Um, I'm going to write something. And... I'm gonna, okay, so I can't think of anything to write now because I've already done the religious one, so we'll write the history of our dynasty, which is basically the history of me. And fuck everybody else. What can I say? It's a good history. Okay, so there is... Okay, so he's got around 3,000 dudes kicking around. But I don't feel like they're very important. You know what, how many are in there? Six? Just raise up these guys. I do not want to be in that army, guys. Seriously, fuck off. And just... We're going to just send these guys over here to besiege this shitty little town. <coughs> Maybe even take it. <laughs> so Wessex is trying to take that place. So time is of some essence. Yeah, six. Come on, guys. Just hit it. Thank you. Now you guys can head back over here. Ah, good. We took that bit of derby, which means we're now up to the townships. These guys can fuck off. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, boys. Get it done. We're still in positive balance, which is good. I don't particularly want to uh, lose money. If we lose this war over here, what may happen with this war is if Wessex wins it. If Wessex, Wessex wins it, our war will be annulled, I think. What sort of a war is it? It's a conquest, so maybe, maybe not. Not quite sure. Okay, good. We kidnapped a few of these lovely Teutonic ladies. Uh, quite a lot, actually. This one here, she's only four. This one here, she's ten. That means she can get educated properly. Good. Wonderful. Keep it coming. Just shitty little places. Now I will hit that one. 
So now we're at 29% against them. And we might let the bishopric and town ones just do what they do. Okay, it's Chesterford done. One more there, the bishopric. And I don't know if that'll be a victory for us. I feel like it won't be. <coughs> we'll have to move down and take this one. Got this concubine pregnant. That's pretty lucky of us, considering that she was um, 44. I think 45 is the uh, problem age. By problem age, I mean the age when people no longer continue reliably having children. In this game. What are these sieges? Oh, we've got the Teutons and some raiders. Yeah, well, I don't care about the Teutons raiding like a shitty little tribal vassal. That's completely fine. They can do that. Sure. All right. We've written our little thing about my family. And only time will tell. Let's use our study again. Um, we'll write something and it will be a poem to my beloved. <laughs> Which will no doubt backfire. And unpause the game, of course. Okay, victory in Burton. Okay, harder for me to do than I thought, but I managed to finish the poem. All I have to do is present it. Uh, strengthen the bond. Okay, I've arranged a perfect opportunity. She's anxious to hear what's on my mind. You are the true sapphire. So 90% chance that our relationship will strengthen. 10% chance that she'll be offended. Okay, she embraces me. And we gained the poet trait. But we already had the poet trait, so... Fuck yeah. Use my study. I'm going to study some technology. We're not going to try and be a bird, because we're not fucking insane. We're going to try and improve the economy. So I just want a quick check of that. Yeah, okay, so that is on a, um, it's useful, don't get me wrong, but that's added to the province modifier. So culture would probably be the best one to do that in the future. I don't know how long I study it for or whatever like that. Does it have an expiry? Yeah, in about a year. That's fine. Okay, all of this has been taken. She will not surrender. We're going to have to sit there for a little bit. Thank you, that's Havelberg done. And we built the castle town here. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. Very good. All right, so this guy is not going to offer peace just yet. This is basically the Teutonic Order stronghold that we're taking, by the way. Um, we're going to appoint Glitterhoof as the Chancellor of the Realm, but then it's going to be like, hey, you can't actually do that. So we'll appoint this guy, and he can go and improve diplomatic relations in the Byzantine Empire. Stupid goddamn event. Oh, they've got shit over here. Whatever, though, he's, he accepts that he's lost the war. And that's what's important. Get on the boats. Perfect, 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 perfect. So this is now owned by this guy, who probably has... Yep, he shouldn't actually have that bit of land. That should be going to this guy. But, you know, whatever. We'll deal with that at a later date. Perfect. Alright. Let's get on over here to Middlesex. And what I'll have this guy do is just take this place. Hopefully. We might actually have him beat up the Kentish forces if we can. If we can. Not the Kentish forces, but Wessex and Wessexian forces. The forces from Wessex. So I'm pretty sure we could defeat this army. 
Derby, 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 Derby. There is a river crossing. Painful. All right, we're here. That's a river crossing. Strait of Dover to Essex and uh, river between Middlesex and so on. All right, let's go down to Surrey and then across like that. That'll probably be better. Decline. The Isle of Finmark is plotting to murder people. Just stop it, bro. All right, here's a fight. And yep, looks good for us. Ah, my account of history of my house has received critical acclaim among scholars throughout the known world. Countless generations will come to stand in awe of the mighty deeds of your dynasty. Ah, so <coughs> everybody in my dynasty gets a plus 25 point opinion against me. We get 75 gold and 150 prestige. Beautiful. That's excellent. Can we build something with that gold now? Nope, just short. Now we're no longer short. Beautiful. Yep, good victory here. Very good. Excellent. And we'll try and quickly... So that's Dover. Yep, so we'll quickly try and take these places back. Yep, very nice. And not back, but I mean like own them in the first place. All right. Good news. You know what? I'm going to try punching that one. Yes, nice. And maybe this next one as well. It will have less of a fort level. So that our morale completely recover. Actually, how's your war going with the... Okay, it's going well for them, so I don't think that they'll, you know, fuck off. Ugh, I don't care about low priority messages right now. Yeah, I think this is one we have to wait for, because I don't want to lose too many troops here before I send them up to deal with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't know how I mentioned it, but I am actually kind of sick. Bit of a dust allergy happening. Yeah. We can form the Duchy of Sorbia. Well, we can't because we don't have the money. But what we'll have to do is... Can we plot to get Brandenburg? Nope. Why can't we plot to get Brandenburg? Come on, Brandenburg, where are you? You must be in here. It's not. That's weird. Oh, I'm sure it will be at some point. I've lost the kind trait. So we've lost a bit of diplomacy. That's unfortunate because we're fairly shit at diplomacy. Excuse me. Warwick, is there a thing? No, I think it's a... Uh, let's see, York, Lindsay, Northampton... Warwick, yeah, every every place that you're attacking to uh, Leicester from, river crossings. Okay, going well there. We've managed to occupy all of that shit, so let's just <coughs> march on up this way a little bit. They will probably try and get it back. So we just got to keep an eye on Princess Melazine's movements here. Meanwhile, this guy can come down here. We could probably take on that army. And you know what? We can actually take on this army as well. That'll give us war score. And help that rebellion out a little bit. Very nice, and we captured this fellow. Are you worth money? No. All right, great. Well, let's chase him back. Why not? What are you doing, mate? 
trying to kill someone? How about you stop it? He's got a claim on Chern... Oh, I don't care about his claim on Chernigov. That's something for him to prosecute. Because Chernigov's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Alright, come on. Let's deal with this fucker. That should be his whole army dead. Yep, and we captured this guy. Is he ransomable? No. Alright. Well then. 90% for this war. <coughs> which is the... Kent one. So I'm just going to head on over to Warwick and besiege that. Actually, what I'll do is I'll head down to this one and get that sorted. I want this war against the Rebellion done faster. Rebellion still firmly in control, which is good. Somehow I feel this isn't going to happen faster. We've got a truce expiring with the Count of Leicester. Oh, she's part of Mercia anyway. Wow, I'm surprised this one's still alive. Is she in my jail? No, she's in Wessex's jail. In jail, she's one-eyed, one-handed, she's drunk, she's insane, she's got syphilis. Wow. We should call an end to the episode, though, because it is about that time, so let me pause it and say that I've been Sob, you've been yourselves. Later.